working with fractions, lesson 10.11. We learned in the last lesson that a fraction can name one of several equal parts. Well, a fraction can name more than one equal part. More than one part might be shaded. We write these fractions using the same rules as we used when one part was shaded. So as we learned in the last lesson, when we have a rectangle and it's got three equal parts and one part is shaded, we have one part that's red of three equal parts, we have one third. When more than one is shaded, we still have three equal parts, but now two are shaded. So we write a two up here. Two parts are shaded out of the three equal parts. Two thirds are shaded. We can write the fraction for the shaded part of an object. We first count the number of equal parts. One, two, three, four. One of the four parts is green. So one is green. Four is the number of equal parts. One fourth is green. Now two of the four equal parts is green, are green. Two are green. Four is the number of equal parts, so two-fourths are green. See? Two-fourths are shaded. So let's circle the fraction that names the shaded part. So the first thing we need to do is count how many equal parts there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. So that tells me right away that this can't be an answer because it's got a five for the equal parts. It's got six equal parts, so it's one of these. So which ones are shaded? Well, there's one, two, three, four that are shaded. So our answer would be this one, four sixths. We'd write it like this, four sixths. See, with the THS at the end. All right, let's try this one. First, let's count the equal parts. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five equal parts. So we know right away that that can't be the answer because that's got a six for the equal parts, doesn't it? So it's one of these. How many are shaded? One, two, three. So we know it's this one. Three of the parts are shaded and there's five equal parts. And this fraction is three fifths. Three. fifths. Okay, let's look at this one. Which fraction names the shaded parts? Well, let's count the number of equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight equal parts. So we know that this is not one of the answers because it's got a six for the equal parts, and we know we counted eight. And how many are shaded? One, two, three. So we know three are shaded, and there's eight equal parts. This is the answer. And this is three eighths. Three eighths. It's got two H's in it. See that? It's like eight with an HS at the end, three eighths, all right? Now it says, color to show the number of shaded parts, write the fraction that's shaded. So we've got a circle here with a bunch of equal parts and we're supposed to have four shaded parts. So let's shade four of them, okay? One, two, three, four. So there's four shaded parts. We know that's going to be the top of our fraction because that's how many are shaded. How many equal parts are there? Well, there's this four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That would be four twelfths. Four twelfths is the fraction. Four shaded parts out of twelve equal parts. Let's try this one. 
we're supposed to have three shaded parts. So let's make three shaded parts. One, two, three. So we have three shaded parts, and how many equal parts are there? One, two, three, four. Three fourths is shaded. See? Okay, now there's supposed to be five shaded parts. So let's shade five parts. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five shaded parts. That's going to be up here. That's our numerator. And how many equal parts are there? Well, we know there's five here. Six, seven. Five sevenths of this rectangle is shaded. All right. Let's try this one. There's supposed to be two shaded parts. So we can shade two of the parts. That's one. That's two. So there's two shaded parts and how many equal parts are there? One, two, three. So two-thirds of this triangle is shaded. Can you see how much is not shaded? What part is still white? Well, there's three equal parts and one part is not shaded, so one-third is not shaded. See? Two-thirds is shaded and one-third is not shaded. Let's try some critical thinking. We need to color the correct number of parts to show each fraction. Okay, so it says three-sixths is supposed to be shaded or colored, okay? So we see one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts, just like this says it should be. And there's a three up here. That tells us we need to shade three of them, right? One, two, three. This says three-fourths. So there's four equal parts. Three are supposed to be shaded. One, two, three. This one says half is supposed to be shaded. There's two equal parts. One of them is supposed to be shaded. See? Now it says, circle the two fractions that show the same amount. Do you see two of these fractions that are showing the same amount? Look at the 3 6 and how it comes up to this line, and look at the half and how it comes up to this line. See that? They're showing the same amount, but the fractions are different. This, 3 6, and this, 1 half, show the same amount. Some fractions can show the same amount, even though they have different number of equal parts. If we have a candy bar and we cut it into eight equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you get four pieces and I get four pieces. We're both getting half the candy bar. This is half the candy bar, isn't it? It's cut in half right here. So if you get four pieces and I get four pieces, we both get half the candy bar. So this is eight equal parts. Whoops. And four are shaded. Four eighths of the candy bar is shaded. And if that's how much you got of it, you'd get half, wouldn't you? Four eighths is equivalent, it's equal to one half. See how that happened? All right. That'll get your brain working. We're going to continue on talking a little bit more about fractions, and we're going to talk about fractions of a group. Okay. So I will see you in the next video. Keep trying. See if you can practice working with fractions. All right. Try taking something like a rectangle or a square and try making equal parts and see if you can come up with some fractions that would be the same. Two-fourths, well, that's the same as a half, isn't it? 
that would be the same as half of this square. See how that worked? Okay, I'll see you next video. Bye.